How deep do bodybuilders squat? I heard guys say everything from nothing at all to as low as you can go. Squatting is actually good for your knees. They found that cultures that squat to eat and use the restroom instead of sit on chairs have better knees in old age. Where does the idea come from then? That is a myth started by Vince Gironda, and unlike most of his advice, it is wrong. One guy said he has to do deep squats to widen his hips. The butt grows up, not out. One person said he doesn't want to do squats because he doesn't want to throw up. The right way to do squats is one that doesn't strain your back, and you should never do it to the point you feel sick. Actually, always stop exercising if you're going to feel sick. I've heard that squats are bad for your back. That isn't a good trait if you want tight glutes. They are if you use a tail under posture, because it puts too much pressure on the back ligaments. Do it right and you won't get a bad back in the quest for a good butt. Squats can raise your blood pressure, and that's not good. All hard cardiovascular exercise and weightlifting raise your blood pressure and your heart rate. Over time, that improves your heart, not weakens it. If squats are safe, how low should you go? Go as low as you can regularly recover. It does no good if you can't get up or drop weights on your foot trying to rise. Are grass squats or low squats better? Repetition and slowly increasing the weight will do more than squatting low. But some guys like the burn. Going low will involve the hamstrings and tone the legs. True, but there are other exercises you can do to tone them. But squats are supposed to be an all-leg and butt workout. No exercise tones all muscles in an area. I don't know who your source is, but he doesn't know squats.